This one, the first one, is Bounce, and you'll all see that it is based on Super Blues Ice Records Bounce, mm -hmm. right? And it's children all over the world, but basically the United States and Trinidad bouncing a ball to each other. All right. This is really the second one that's done on Sesame Street because we saw one, what was it, last year? Well, this is the second series. Mm -hmm. When Sesame Street saw a Flag Party, which was Super Blue's uh, music video, mm -hmm. they said, oh, please, give us one like that. And then they saw that, and they said, give us another and give us another. So that we've already given them three so. with Super Blue's music and Trinidad and Tobago's culture. And they liked them, and this year they asked us to do another series. And this is the first of the series. All right. Is Jaja connect connected with the first one that we're seeing, or is he involved with the second one? With all of them. Now, Jaja, when you were asked uh, to get involved in this, uh, what was your initial reaction? Well, you see, the, um, the thing that the would come and ask me to do, that was up my alley. Mm -hmm. I didn't be like, Tamu Bambu, Moko Jumbies, the kids and selecting the kids and them to do the parts and things. Mm -hmm. That was up my alley, so I find it was nice. And then the opportunity to see Sesame Street work in Trinidad and Tobago. Yes. Right? I said, really, yes. And you know what is lovely is to see that the talent in Trinidad and Tobago is available from that early age. Because yeah. you had to find the children yeah, rather but, than the but adults. But you see, but that's much more what we could real act in this country. Are people in the country still know the amount of talent we have. <laughs> oh, the problem goodness. was really the kids we couldn't use because you just can't put everybody mm -hmm. there. Yes, you have to disappoint some. Yeah. All right, so we're going to look now at uh, the very first showing of... Uh, Bounce from Sesame Street. It hasn't been seen in the United States of America yet or any other part of the world. Quite right. So this is the premiere. Here you are, folks. So that's just a little part of Super Blues music there, bounce being heard throughout the world and of course children of the world being used in it. Annie, the bits you did in Trinidad, tell us about the filming and you know how you went about that. Well, we, let's see, we did it in Maloney, that was at the president's, in front of the president's house, it went by very quick and around mm -hmm. the savannah. We did, we filmed in St. Anne's and we used children from Maloney and Coco Reed and uh, Belmont, and we used a lot of the relatives of the Moco Jumbies from last year. And a lot of the kids that you see in Bounce are in fact the little brothers, or the little cousins, or the little nephews of the Moco Jumbies. Of the Kilimanjaro kids, yes? Mm -hmm. All right, Jaja, you know, you have been given an opportunity here to highlight and to showcase talent from Trinidad and Tobago. What does it do for you, you know, are you seeing things that you might now want to put in place that you'd want to offer? Oh yeah, there are plenty of things. Like for instance, um, I believe in showcasing the, the talent of the kids in the country. We well, have so much. I feel like the years um, teaching like all in best religion thing. The amount of small kids that they have with talent in the culture, they already look at them at that age. They went till they reach all 15, 16 and thing, right? Mm -hmm. But in the Sesame Street program now, you get an opportunity to see the talent that the little ones from COVID is even like the age of five, and six. Aaron was three. Uh, Aaron was, two, was three years. Yes. And you know, you see the kids at that age then putting out that kind of talent, taking the direction 
you it's know truly. it's fabulous All and right. I think we could do much more with the kids and the next segment we're gonna see the little boy was only three when he did it and it was his true big brothers and his mother who practiced with him wonderful let's hear on the music here used again this you'll all recognize it's a ring a ring a ring bang mm -hmm. from ice records and from viking tunda all right so let's take it in my mom is going to have a baby that means i'm going to be a big brother Sometimes I snuggle up to my mommy. I listen to her heartbeat. The baby's heartbeat sounds funny. I'm going to make a song about my mommy and the baby. This is how my mommy's heartbeat sounds. This is how the baby's heartbeat sounds. Mommy? Mommy, baby, yay, we're having a baby! <laughs> All right, a little bit of a mix up there with the video. Annie. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> That one was uh, Gilo, who all of you know from Cassava. That was mm -hmm. his music. It's Ice Records. And Viking Thunder song is for what we're going to see tomorrow. Yes, we'll use it tomorrow. Okay? Yeah. A little mix up in our, how we place the videos, but at least we'll see Viking Thunder tomorrow. So we understand that it's all happening out of the Caribbean and onto Sesame Street. Thanks to this lovely lady, Anne Gory. We can thank you and congratulate you. Thank and you. Jaja, you know, I hope that you continue your involvement with Annie so that uh, we continue to get that good Trinidad and Tobago <laughs> input. Thank you very much for being my guest. And you know, as we look there at uh, him going, I'm going to have a baby. I heard a story recently about a mother, you know, realizing that she was about to give birth and telling her little son, come on, hurry up, you have to go with mommy. I have to get you to granny so I can go and have the baby. And the little child said, but mommy, I want to look at TV. Can't you have the baby tomorrow? <laughs> I know, mommy couldn't. Mommy had that baby today. Congratulations to the mother. She knows who she is. She's looking on at the program. 